Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to search Wilfred Woodruff's documents on the Wilfred Woodruff Papers website. So once you get to the website, then navigate here and click on Documents. And then this page will come up and it will show you all of the documents that we have so far transcribed and added to the website. So first, there is a menu here that will allow you to filter between document types. There's also a search bar here that will allow you to search the documents by title. So just to explain what that means, you'll notice how this document here is called Autobiography 1857, Draft 1. So if we search for autobiography in the search bar, then that is one of the things that would come up. It's just searching the document titles. It's not searching the actual content of the documents. You can use this drop-down menu here to sort how you would like. And then if you look over here, let's say we want to find a journal entry from when Wilfred Woodruff was serving his mission in England, we don't know specifically what entry we're looking for. We just want to browse the journals. Well, we can click on journals here, and then it will bring up all of the journals that we have transcribed on the website. And Wilfred Woodruff served his mission in 1840. So if we click on this journal, we know that it will contain content from his mission. And then what you'll see here is first, there is a little menu over here that will show you people, places, and topics that are mentioned in the journal. This search bar here is where you can search the content of the journal. So let's say we want to look for baptism and we can search there and it will show you all of the pages in this journal that baptism is mentioned. Then if we click on a specific page in the journal, so let's click on this one, then it will show us a picture of the original journal entry from Wilford Woodruff's journal. And then on the right, it will show you the transcription of that journal entry, as well as the people and places mentioned and the topics, and then how to cite the page if you would like. Now, if you want to navigate between pages, you can either click the next and previous buttons, or you can use this slider tool here to move through a bit faster. Now, if we come back here, you can also click on view full transcript. And instead of showing you the pages one at a time, it will just show you the transcription and you can scroll through it very quickly. Okay. Now, one last thing here. If you go back to the original documents page, let's say that you're looking for a specific phrase in the journals and you don't want to have to go to the effort of going to the journal first and then searching. You can just use the advanced search feature. And if you search here, it will allow you to search all of the documents for content at once. Now, I'm not going to get into greater detail about this in this video because there is already a tutorial video that explains this. So if you would like to learn how to use the advanced search feature on the website, then check out that tutorial video. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. Make sure to check out one of our other tutorial videos if you have any further questions.